Hello all you Sonus Vegas users. This is a quick tip for you when editing your projects. I'm going to show you how to align your text elements correctly within your project instead of having to deal with the default locations. This can be really helpful especially whenever you got widescreen or box or so forth and instead of allowing it for it to be centered this will allow you to place it anywhere within your document window. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to grab a hold of a file. I'm a Wasp fan, so I'm going to drop this in here. This is the lead singer for the band Wasp. And so what I want to do here is that I want to um, add in a text element. So let's go ahead and insert text media. And once it loads here, let's go ahead and resize our text to 28 and this is Wasp Blackie Lawless. Okay, now go ahead and bring that down, drop this here, extend it out. Okay, now as you can see it's got our Wasp text Blackie Lawless on top of Blackie here. So what we want to do is that we want to make our image smaller and place it to the right and then place our uh, title name of our character over here to the left. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to resize our image. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the event pan and crop. Once we get here use your uh, scroller on your mouse and scroll it down. Now as you can see it's got the markers around the image. Now whenever we do this, we're only allowed to bring it so far until it cuts it off. Okay, in order to fix this issue, and we're dealing with a 720 by 480 for our project size, we're going to click on the, the drop down for our preset and choose standard TV aspect ratio. Okay. Now, we bring it out, bring it over here, and as you can see, it pits it where it's supposed to be instead of cropping it off. So now, that's where I want it at, so now we do the same thing with our characters. We got to go over here, make sure that it's standard TV aspect ratio, and then we move it over here, let's open it up a little bit more scroll out. Okay, we got Wasp Blackie Lawless sitting right here and you can move it anywhere you want. Let's bring it to about bring it down just a little bit more. Okay, and there we go. Now we're able to go in here and actually align our text elements or our images along the side of our project window or our project frame. And so that is basically how it's done. So let's uh, run through this one more time. Let's go ahead and create a new one. Don't save it. Okay. Now, grab a hold of our file, drop it in, bring it to the beginning. And now let's insert our text media. Resize it to 28. Uh, Blackie Lawless. And let's go ahead and uh, choose to close it. And let's drop it down swap sides, strand it out, remember to click on the event pan and crop, scroll out, go up here and choose standard TV aspect ratio. Now whenever you've got a widescreen project you would want to choose widescreen TV aspect ratio, but since we're doing a standard that's what we want to choose is our standard. Then we go through here and then we set it right there at the edge. 
and then we do the same thing with our text scroll out standard and then we want to do it too small And there you go. <clears throat> okay, I hope that you enjoyed this quick Sony Vegas tutorial. And I hope that y'all have a rocking weekend. And this is Wayne Barron for Dark Effects TV. Enjoy.